morning friends so now you can view different view at the top view of the object which is given in the first angle method of production first you read out the dimensions of the given picture the length of this dimension that is a picture is 75 and height is 37 and the width of this one is 50 so already you know how to draw the isometric view so for the basic of isometric view, you have to take a reference line of x y and after that you put a midpoint or any point on the line and draw a 30 degrees line towards right hand side and 30 degrees towards the left hand side so now i am going to take the reference as x here that is i am viewing from this side so this is the front view a base plate and another block is kept on the base plate so here there is a cut there is a deep cut inside the base plate. So already this type of uh, isometric view is there but without this cut. Now by taking a section here how it will be in this problem right. We will go uh, according to the procedure. So now I will take this as a reference point O. Oh, I will sort this one here. So what is this base plate length? This is about 25 and with a height of 12. So first I will take uh, the reference height as uh, 12 mm so simply uh, i am going to take 12 mm line okay and what is this length this length is about 25 so once again i will take uh, this reference towards right hand side length is about uh, 25 mm so i will draw two lines here perfect immediately and simply now i am going to connect these two lines okay right then afterwards there is a cut so now i am not drawing this uh, portion which is being cut so now i will start this point and construct up to this point so this is 25 and i will give a gap of 25 mm so from this point i'll take right side so i will take 25 mm already this is 25 so after 25 this is 50 and i will draw a line up to 75 because it is also 25 mm so now taking the height as a reference okay i'll draw 12 mm thickness from this point 12 mm because the 12 is here height so 12 mm thickness height here and uh, here also i'll draw a thickness of 12 mm right now i will connect these two lines okay these two vertical lines on the base of this plate and as well as the top of this plate okay now this particular portion now you can see these two are in the front view this one and this one now let us go for the construction of this deep cutting okay this cutted portion so now what is the depth of the cut the depth of the cut is 12 so the depth of the cut is nothing but 12 so now i will take this uh, 12 mm from this point because the depth of the cut is started from this point so this is what 12 mm from here okay and what is the width of this one that is the length the length is about once again 25 so now i will take uh, length as a reference i'll take 25 mm okay so i'll connect it here simply after taking with a width as a parallel line suppose if i put these two points should join so that's that now i can confirm that this is perfect okay then the top portion we got and what about the bottom portion of this base plate so we have a thickness of 12 mm so from this corner from this corner i'll put 12 mm and simply i'll draw a line to downwards okay to the base and simply i will try to connect these two points okay i think uh, you are uh, understanding okay. so now taking the level length of a reference from this point i'll try to connect here okay now you can see this is the base plate okay this is the portion and this is this one and the deep cut portion is this particular thing now i will go for from o to the back end point of the base plate so now taking the width as a reference or a line what is the width here the width is about 50 mm 
So now I will take the 50 mm as a base plate. I will draw a dark line. Okay. After drawing the dark line, what is the height of this one? Once again, a 12 mm. So keeping this as a reference, once again, I will draw the same line with the 50 mm from the top of the base also. So from this uh, two, simply I will try to connect these two lines. So now this side, the base is also constructed. So now after getting the base, I will complete this diagram with the light lines. So from this point, I will take a line. Okay. Okay. So this is a, a place where an inclined portion is started. This one, this uh, separate web. So what is the distance? The distance is about 20. So now simply I will draw a line of 20 mm here. Okay, I am not drawing complete line. Okay, 20 mm from this point to this point. So now I got here. So from this point, I have to take a width of 25 mm. So taking the width on the left hand side. Okay, taking the width, I am drawing 25 mm. So this is the point here. So 25 mm. Okay, so now this line I got. So after getting this one, I have to draw the inclined line. So inclined line, like I cannot draw directly the inclined line. So what I have to do, I have to come to the right hand side. So this is of total 50 and the width is 25. So this gap is around 25 and this is also 25. Now from this point, I will take 25 mm. Okay, from this point, I will take uh, 25 mm. Now, from this 25 mm, what is the height? The height is about, once again, 25. So, taking the reference of the height, which is perpendicular to the x, y, I will draw 25 mm height. Okay, now I reach this particular point. So, in the top view, this is the point. What is the distance of this one? This is 25. Okay, so now, with the width of uh, 25 mm, I am going to draw a line here. So this is uh, coinciding in, inside the picture. So don't worry. You will get understand. And next after that one from this point and this point, what is the width here? So the length is about 20 mm. So from this point to this point is 25 and from this point to this point is 20 mm and this point to this point is 20 mm. So with the length as a reference, I will put the scale to the length and I will draw two parallel lines with the 20 mm as a distance. 20 mm from here and from here it is about once again 20 mm. Now with the width as a parallel line, now simply I will try to connect these two lines. Okay. After connecting these two lines, what I have to do? So now I have created this one. You can see the top view. Okay. This one. So now I have to join these two lines. Okay. So from this point to this point and this point to this point. Simply with the help of a scale, you can directly join, not putting any parallel lines or perpendicular. Simply you can join these two points with the help of a normal scale also. Okay. Now you got a some particular thing, but this is a base plate and this is an another another uh, block which is kept on the base plate. So now what you have to do is, so for confirming this one, so you put the reference scale to the length and you put a line, you draw a line from this point to this point. So it is clear now and another block is kept on the base plate which has a deep cut. So I think uh, you have understood uh, this problem very clearly. Uh, in the previous uh, problem, we have we doesn't have this uh, section, and this problem we had a section. Thank you.